Well, I plan to film the first train from my head coming up to Blue Anchor. That should only be many minutes away. But there's another vehicle going to be coming down the railway today. I'm not on the rails. Not sure how high above it, but a Spitfire is going to be flying the whole length of the rail, railway. Starting at the Taunton end. Ending up at Minehead. Only got a vague identity a timing for it, so uh, I hope we'll be in a good position to film it when it does come. It'll be long after the first train though, which uh, I see no steam. And I think I'll wait here to get uh, quite a good view of the train as it comes along from Dunster Station. It's due now. But uh, many other circumstances at the station it may have been delayed for one reason or another. Yeah, the other people are here, and uh, so is the helicopter. But I don't know if that's a forerunner of the Spitfire. Yeah, you get some nice shots up there, wouldn't it, if the Spitfire would come along? Sorry? You get some lovely view of it up there if the Spitfire would come along. See you later. <laughs> Big clouds just come over the sun, which is a shame, spoke the lighting. But there's the train, way in the distance. Reading to catch up with last time. It's sitting in a lot of steam up that in that direction. Yeah, a lot of steam boy. Yes, he is moving. He's moving. Coming up through. Quite energetically too, look at that. Now we want Spitfire now coming over just at this second. Yeah, right through the clouds, yeah. eh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Braunton, we look a bit. Okay. 
Oh, boy. It's nice of you to be so involved if you know nothing about trains. <laughs> I know nothing about trains. All oh, right. What's your, cons what's your concern? I'm a reenactor. Um, oh, you're just enjoying doing that I sort do, of thing. Um, I do Napoleonic period normally. Oh, um, wow. Thanks. So, but, yeah, I do. But I, also we do American Civil War. Oh, lovely. Oh, yeah, that's great. Uh, and this weekend I am 1940s. <laughs> yeah, lovely. I've got ci civilian and uh, military. So I during the weekend I'll do both. I can just about remember the tape on my my parents' windows when I was growing up and it was a very brown sort of tape. Yeah. Have you managed to get something like that? No, no, we just had an oldie masking tape. <laughs> it looks good from a distance anyway. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's masking tape. I don't know what them cars are over there in that field. I don't know how they got in there. There's no other cars in there. Oh there. there's something going on in there. I don't see them yet. But under those trees? I thought it was um tractors or something. Yeah. It might be people working. Oh unless they've got a they haven't got a military camp down there, have they Because no, no, no. no. I know there's supposed to be a, a few uh, wartime camps that's scattered about. Yeah, yeah we got a few. We've got um there's uh Stagumbra. This is the one in Watchit. Where in Watchit? On the hill on the hill. They're only there just camping. They're not actually doing anything in that one. But oh. Stagumber Stagumber's got one. They got stuff at Bishop's Lady. There's loads of stuff in Watchit yeah. going on. Great. And uh, hopefully a Spitfire coming over in a minute. Yeah. Well I thought, well how fast does a Spitfire go? And 250 I'll try... mile an hour. <laughs> right. It's flat out. So. Yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's quite that slow, is isn't it, compared that to... Is um... fast. That's fast. For, for 250 mile an hour is yeah. fast for... Yeah. Something, but um, that's flat out. But if you, I expect we'll be looking at somewhere around 100 mile an hour. Mm. I don't know. I hope you can fly low. I'm not sure what the regulations are. Um, well, usually it's 150 feet. So oh, that's not bad. We can do that. If, it, if they've had permission, yeah. clearance, he might drop down here. Yeah, lovely. That's not him up there. That's an aircraft. <laughs> you can see something, can you? A, I can't see anything yet. Boeing, Boeing plane up there. Or... <laughs> All right. Oh, I hear something. No, that's probably what we're that's hearing. That's what we hear. Yeah, since I got up this morning, I looked out of the window and I could see a vapour trail. I thought, well, I don't think that's it yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully I'm come early. Hopefully, and hopefully yeah. it's all clear to go. Be nice. It's not a bad day. So. Yeah. We do a lot. I do a lot with them. Um, we do a lot of battle proms. Um, and we always have the Spitfires at the battle proms. Lovely. Okay, so they dig the... You know, they're big bands and stuff, and we do lots of stuff like that. I was in the, Isle of, in the Isle of Man a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. right up the top of Snowfell, and there was a Spitfire mm -hmm. on top of this mountain. It's sat on the hill, <laughs> Whatever, yeah, yeah, what's that yeah. doing up there? <laughs> no one could tell me, but it was just parked up up there. Yeah. No, we, um, so at the reenactment, they fly over and they do lots of different things. Yeah, it's just that. And stuff, which is good. Yeah, I noticed the in the photograph I saw. It's it's one with a twin co cockpit, so it's yeah. uh, it's. Yeah, uh, they're, they're, they're not so rare as the. Hmm. Yeah, the woman that flies ours. It's, it's a woman pilot, and she does all of them. And um, who's that? I forget what her name is. Mm -hmm. But she she does every 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 one. Amazing. What happened? Her husband died. He bit just finished building it. He died. Um, she was going to sell it, uh -huh. and someone said, why don't you learn to fly it? Gosh. Sort of as a joke, and she yeah. said, well, why don't I learn to fly it? And ever since, she's flown it, and she does it. Wow. She does it. Well yeah. done. Yeah, so... Yeah, so they did a, I suppose she got a maintenance team. I expect they're expensive to keep in the air. Yeah, uh, if I haven't misread this, it, yeah. I think the, the person flying with her... Actually, it's got a chalet up just up there. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because it's a, it's a railway enthusiast. That's yeah, got it. Robin White. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who he is, but mm. yeah, it's a real enthusiast that has got it. So. But he doesn't own it, does he? Yeah, he owns a plane. <sighs> I think I think he owns it. Oh, I see. I'm not 100% sure on no, that, but no. I'm, I'm sure I was sort of told that it was the guy who, yeah. who's got the plane is a railway enthusiast. And oh, wonderful. He's flying. 
It's certainly a man of many talents then, really. God, that's whistling quite well in the distance. I, I don't know if it's the same one that's parking up at Bishop's Lydia at the weekend, because we've got one at Bishop's Lydia. Yeah, that's right, I wondered yeah, about that. Just saying. That's mobile Bye, phone. Terry. All right. I, I'm at Blue Anchor Seafront, just waiting for this Spitfire to fly through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I can get a shot of it. But um, I've got a shot of a couple of trains, but <laughs> trains, trains don't really appeal to Mark, do they? <laughs> I like going on them. They're lovely. They all feel like you know, but it's not my. Yeah, and it's nice to see. I was hoping to get them with 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 the plane coming through over the top of them, but that didn't happen. Mm. Yeah. It's due any minute, I think. Tomorrow night, Friday night, in watch it, yeah, yeah, and it's going to be packed. They're singing in uh, mine head on on Sunday. They're also singing um, tomorrow during the day in watch it, yeah, yeah, about ten o'clock. I think it's about ten o'clock. I'll get. I can give you the definite time. We'll look at the program. Yeah. Otherwise, if you hang on ten minutes till this plane's gone through, I'll, I'll walk back and then. Get you there. All right, mate. Lovely. Cheers. Yeah, look at those clouds. They're worsening to help you not spoil everything. Yeah, it was a nice little bit of sun coming through a minute ago. Hmm. I thought somewhere down here we should have... A bit overcast. It might help with the... Rather than having the sun in our face. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought we've got a good run here, just should see it in the distance, or at least hear it in the distance. If, he, if he's leaving at 11 o'clock, he ain't left yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there are sounds coming over in that direction, I don't know what that That's is all nice about. Bit of lovely bit of blue sky there. Huh. That's what we'd like, a nice bit of blue sky. Yeah. It? 20 past 11, no sight, no sound of the Spitfire yet. That we sometimes imagine we can hear something. Like now. Yeah, that yeah. sounds like something definite. Those sheep were moving around rather. Oh, yes, I hear something now, don't you? Yeah. This is the way we should be looking then. Yeah, where is he then? First to see him. Oh, yeah, we in... should see it. There he is. You see him? Right in front of us. Oh, I'm high. Oh, dear. Producer high. Yeah. No, that's a shame. Having got this close, he's, he's flying more over the sea than... He's just going to do a shortcut to mine head, isn't he? Yeah. Won't see him at all though, further down the line. Oh, that's not good. He might come along. Mm. He's down, dropping down low there, isn't he? Isn't that typical? Yeah, I think right. if he was flying the line, he would have flown right down past us. Oh, he's he oh, performing now, but that's much too far away yeah, for us to yeah. pick him out. Oh, that's a bit of an anticlimax. That was a bit of a, yeah, yeah, so if we'd known he was going to... Just be down there. Yeah, he, he just cut everything out, really. I wonder what he did do. Where did he fly over? Watch it, perhaps? I don't know. Uh, he's performing there. Would he come back this way? Oh, look, oh, there he is, yeah. No, yeah content to water. Got, perhaps he can perform over the sea, but that's all he's allowed to do. Could be. Well, unless you're a good aircraft spotter, you wouldn't know what you were looking at, really, from here. Yeah, yeah. yeah he did long range. 
So what's your name? Oh, Mike Dan. Ah, right, yeah, I've seen you do, do I've seen you do videos on, um, I never realised that. On YouTube, so that, yeah. Yeah, I've seen you do videos on, we love watching and stuff. Yeah, Ambrose yeah. Corner. <laughs> Hopefully this will be the, another one, but uh, it's a shame we couldn't get a better shot of this Spitfire. Yeah. He's performing well over my, well, out at sea over near mine head. Yeah. He's not really even in the town, is he? No, no I Might see it better in South Wales. <laughs> oh dear. That's the beauty of taking stuff. Hmm. Yeah, Robin White said it was going to fly direct from Minehead to Exeter, so... If he does that, he won't come back here at all. It's a bit closer to mine, isn't it? One or two birds have been disturbed, but that's about it here. Yeah, I was expecting them to come nice and low along yeah, the Yeah, that would have been lovely, wouldn't it? Mm. Especially when we were all in the right position here with our cameras. Little speck in the distance. But in mine, that would be good. It would be good. Hmm. Oh, a little bit of salute from the trains at Minor Station. That was good. Well, miles away now. to turn the sound levels up high to actually hear him. Mm -hmm. well, we both made the effort, didn't we, this morning? <laughs> <laughs> Can I have your name just for the record? Oh, it's Mark Mossman. Oh, well done, yeah. Any electrical work? This is your man. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's Bronson coming back. Yeah, no sign of an overflowing Spitfire. Alas, the racket's gone.